What's up guys? It's Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together and today I want to share with you everything I bought on Amazon in the month of September. I'm Marissa. I'm a borderline crazy dog mom, a landlord, a DIYer, an interior design obsessed pop culture enthusiast, a real estate entrepreneur, and I'm simultaneously managing a long distance relationship while working full time. I'm the kind of woman who doesn't have the patience to get through this recording. So let's get into it. This is Barely Keeping It Together. So September was the month that I moved. So I'm not going to lie. I bought a lot of stuff this past month on Amazon, but I want to share it all with you and let you guys know what I like, what I didn't like, what disappointed me. And it's going to be everything like personal lifestyle to like, you'll see, um, to also home decor, but let's start with home decor. Cause I think that that is why a lot of you guys are here. So first let me start with what I actually just ordered this past week. That isn't quite here yet. Um, I did buy two tassels that are coming in the mail, um, that I'm going to use on the bedside tables in my room. I will insert an image of those tassels here. If you guys are interested in that sort of like glam antique look adding these tassels to a drawer or anything along those lines are like very much a way to elevate and accessorize that style so i definitely recommend those tassels i'll let you guys know how they actually are when they come in in the mail i think they're coming tomorrow uh i also ordered just a piece of hardware for a lamp that i'll be sharing with you guys later on and then the only other things that haven't arrived yet are two things of spray paint because you know your girl loves to DIY. So um, in terms of the spray paint, I ordered a matte black and uh, a textured black. At, honestly, for what I do, it's important to have them always in back stock. But I mean, honestly, y'all should have spray paint. But in the city of Chicago, it's illegal to buy spray paint. So you have to go to the suburbs where I live now or order it on Amazon. So I'm accustomed to buying it on Amazon and just having it delivered to me. So I ordered some spray paint and you'll see some projects with that soon. That being said, let's get into this first larger piece I ordered. Now, I, this isn't really home decor, this is more DIY, but at this house I have an area in a garage that I'm gonna set up as my workshop. I absolutely cannot wait to share that with you. It's gonna be dope, um, but you know, it's, it's a nicer garage. It has like a tile floor and all those things. So I don't want to ruin the garage by just painting in there. So I actually got this. It is, it looks like a tent, but it's a spray tent, um, for redoing furniture. I've not put it together yet. Hopefully it comes together easily. It says that it should. Um, let me see how much I actually paid for this on Amazon. This was $39 and it's large. It should fit like a six foot piece of furniture. Let's see if it says... Oh, excuse us, lamp. Oh, this is the front of the box, you guys. I don't know, but it's big. I'll let you guys know once I've put put it together and I'm refinishing furniture in there in the next week or so. I'll let you know what I think of that. Uh, but I'm really excited to get that set up because I've always been like DIYs, DIYing and causing some messes. So I am super excited to have this tent and fix some things up. Now, if you guys watched my video about the DIY abstract art, if you haven't, I'll link it here. But um, if you guys watch that video, you will see that I said I needed to get the ebony or black rub and buff for the sides of the um, picture frame. And I did order that this month. It was like seven bucks, to be honest. I think it was a little bit expensive. But if you guys haven't rub and buffed, yo, it is where it's at, man. It's like... So it's just like a life-changing product. It goes on very easily, makes a big impact, all the things. So I highly recommend that. And I just honestly just like rub that on the side of the canvas. You can't really see now, but my fingernails were black for a couple days though. So that's not, that's not the vibe, but it is what it is. Okay. Along the DIY notes, sorry, let me like zhuzh things around here because I legitimately have a basket full of the things I bought as if I'm Santa Claus. Hold on. Let me find, what am I looking for? Oh, so for bedroom projects, there's like a lot of stuff because 
as you guys know, I'm currently redoing my bedroom and I'm going to be stripping a dresser. I cannot wait to show you guys how that comes out. My mom says it's going to be really hard, uh, but I think it'll be okay. But I, oh, this is actually funny. This is a leg that I was going to replace on the dresser. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now because I thought I was ordering a four pack, but I ordered one, like literally one leg, but it's really nice. Honestly, it's like heavy. Uh, so I think I need to order three more of these and it's going to be sort of stripped down. So hopefully this will go with it or I might need to like, I don't know, whitewash or stain this. I'm not quite sure, but this is the furniture leg that I ordered for my dresser here. This is what it looks like. And you guys, I'm linking everything below. So if you're curious about any of this stuff, it'll be linked below. So that is for my dresser. Speaking of my bedroom, my bed is the type of bed that has a box spring underneath it. Very unattractive box spring. Um, and so I just ordered a black, a fitted black sheet. It was $11 um, on Amazon. I'm just going to put this over the queen box spring so that you don't see the box spring. Um, or if you, you know, if you see it through my duvet or whatever, that this covers that up. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll take pictures, probably put it on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, it's at barely keeping it together. I do a lot of stories and that kind of stuff over there. But so this black fitted sheet, $11 and something cents on Amazon. Now that we're talking bed, let's like stay on the bed train. I also ordered a duvet cover or a duvet, uh, a goose down, or I want to say it's goose down. Hold on. Let's see. I'm looking at my computer if you guys are curious what I'm doing here. Okay, it is a white goose duck down feather filling duvet. Yeah, duvet. I was trying to figure out if it's duvet or duvet cover. Um, $90 is $89.99. I have it on my bed now with a white duvet cover on it. I am absolutely loving it so far. I got the heavy weight. Um, one, I live in Chicago and it's freezing. And then two, I wanted it to look super luxe and filled. I was of the mindset, if you guys don't know the hack, if you put two inserts inside of a duvet cover, it's going to look super f fluffy and lushy and like it's, um, in a hotel. So once you guys see my bed, let me know if I need to get the second one. I'm open to it if I need to get a second duvet in the cover. Um, but I thought that the heavy weight would also help it look, you know, super fluffy. Now, that being said, I know a lot of you guys have commented about down and that it's like controversial. I don't know about all that. I, you know, I ordered this before I knew. So sorry. And like, I like down. It's like very luxurious, but some people are anti down because it's animals. So I'm sorry about that, but I have down pillows and a down comforter. And so far I'm loving that. Moving on from that controversy. I shouldn't do that. Other things on my bed. So I told you I have all white bedding on my bed. I got this huge black quilt. Um, and you can see it's a waffle texture. Do you guys see? Sorry, the lighting is not the best, but it's on, it's pure black, $37. Kind of pricey, but it's really big. I want to say it's, um, six, yeah, it's 60 by 80 inch. And so I have this thrown over the bottom of my bed. This is mostly because, well, one, my bedroom is going to have lots of whites and blacks in it, but also my dog is black. So I needed something to like throw down that you wouldn't see his fur as much as you'll see on the duvet cover. So far, so good with this. You know, it's not perfect, but between the duvet cover and this both being able to be thrown in the wash, everything has been good. Oh my God. I haven't like sat with this on my lap, but now I am. And I love that. Very luxurious. And I wanted something. So right now it seems like everybody is having things with beads and baubles on the edges or fringe or I can't even like bow. What are they called? Pom poms, which is really cool. And it's more of like a boho look, but that's not the look I'm going for in my room. I'm going for more of like a chic Parisian look. So it has this really nice, this makes it look really thin, but it's not, um, this really nice, just like finished edge, which is what I was looking for. And it's large. So I actually do really recommend this if that is the type of quilt or throw or blanket that you're looking for. Just know, you know, 
I don't know what to just know, but I like it. I all oh, okay. I don't have it here to show you, but um I also ordered a pack of sage because when we moved into the house, we needed to sage it where you light the sage and you go around the house and you, you know, clear out any bad energies and you set your intentions for the home just to make this house feel like it was our house and welcome our family and you know all the woo woo things if you guys you know i don't know what else to say about that but it feels like we had great we've had great energy in the house so so far so good i did buy sage this month on there as well what else have i purchased that was home decor related oh let me show you my pillowcases i did sneak peek these in my last video i got these black Sorry that the lighting isn't showing things that are black. This is true black. Oh, here you go. Black velvet pillowcases. Um, and I'm going to use them somewhere. I need bigger ones if I'm going to do them on my bed. These are 18 by 18. I think I need 22s. Um, but it comes in a set of two for $11.99 or $12.99. Um, this is what it looks like on the pillow. It actually looks really good. I think I'll put, maybe have that on this chair. But... Yeah, I will link them below. They're really nice, really soft, luxurious. Can't complain. They come in a set of two. I think if you're like me and you are a home decor junkie and you have a ton of pillows that are already choppable and all the things, you just want pillow covers sometimes. And Amazon is a great way to one, search for specifically what you're looking for. Because sometimes if you go to Home Goods, like, well, first of all, Home Goods doesn't sell a lot of black in general. Um, but you're not going to have exactly what you're looking for. And then two, then I don't need to have extra pillows. I just have the cases so I can switch these out for the holidays or next year or spring or whatever it is that I'm feeling. And then it's just the cover and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It doesn't feel like I bought too much excess, if that makes sense. Now, I'm realizing as I'm showing you guys this, <laughs> that 99% of the things I bought were black. I like black things. Honestly, I wear all black. But I'm not wearing it right now. You guys, I purposely have to wear like clothes to be, well, I'm not naked, but like normally I'm just like in a black tank top 99% of the time. Okay, so just to finish out home stuff, I actually found this from, if you guys follow Erin May Henry, she's a business coach. Um, this is just, this sits on my desk and I will do a desk tour uh, because I work from home, but this is just an iPad stand. So I have my laptop, I have my iPad. I usually take all my Zoom calls or work calls um, on my iPad. And then also, if you guys aren't aware, if you have a newer Mac and you have an iPad, you can do something called Sidecar, where your iPad is the second monitor for your Mac. So if you're working from home or doing business, it's just a nice feature to have. So I have my iPad propped up on this on my desk. Nice and simple, gets the job done. Now, I think that, let me do a quick review. Oh, mm, it is not here. I also got a Bluetooth wireless black speaker for my shower so I can listen to um, podcasts or music or YouTube videos while I'm in the shower. I'll link that below as well. I'll show you an image of what that looks like here. It's honestly very simple but I highly recommend it because I'm the type of person that loves listening to my podcast in the morning after I work out. It's like, you know, go with your good energy or whatever. So I did um, get that Bluetooth speaker and I will link that because I highly recommend it. It's just waterproof. I mean, you can use it outside, you can use it wherever, but I have mine in my shower. Okay, so I think that that is everything home related. So now I'll get into some of the like personal like non-decor related stuff that I bought on Amazon this month. I actually had to pause there for a second because I was wearing these. I ordered these black slippers. I had them in spring and summer for light blue. Now I'm not thrilled that the edge is white. I think it should all be black. My blue ones were all blue throughout, but I had these in a lighter blue. I got the black because I mean, I'm just going to be, should I expose myself? I'm going to. The blue ones were showing dirt and it didn't look cute. It made me look like I was a gross person. I don't think these are going to. And these ones are actually softer than the blue I had. Here, let me show you. These are the blue. See the sides are blue too. I'm not showing you the dirt because that's gross. Um, 
I actually recommend these better because these are actually a lot softer than the blue ones that I had now that I put them on. I highly recommend, great for just like walking around the house, you know, all the things. It's fall, hugga season, let's get cozy. Um, again, another <laughs> black item that I purchased. So yeah, I bought these this month. They were super inexpensive, I think $16.99. I also got this shirt. I will show you guys, I'll link a better image. Um, this is just like a white three quarter sleeve. It's actually, uh, what's this called? Bodysuit. Um, I wear bodysuits a lot because they're great for filming. They just tuck in no problem. Um, that one's really cute. Honestly, if to be genuine, like the material's not nice. It feels cheap, a little see-through in the back, but I'll keep it because I'll wear it for filming YouTube videos, that kind of thing. But if I was dressing to impress, I probably wouldn't wear that. So you guys will probably see that on this channel. Um, but it just depends on what you're looking for. So I will link that below. I'm 50, 50 on it. More clothes. I work out it. Your girl works out every day. Um, I had these in white for all of quarantine. I got them in the beginning cause I run on the treadmill every day. Um, I live and die by these Adidas sneakers. I got them in a darker color one because it's fall. These are the Energy Falcon X, um, and I think they're pretty true to size. I wear an eight and a half, um, and these are like a dark gray. And the reason I got these is, well, one, I found that I'm like good at running in this shoe. And then two, I got the darker color because my dog steps on my foot a lot. And it got my white ones super dirty. Like I'm looking at them right now across the room. Yikes, you guys, it's gross. And I was literally constantly cleaning them, brushing them, doing all the things if by the way if you guys have tricks to keep like the mesh of a white shoe like I know how to keep a white shoe clean but like the mesh part if you guys have tricks for that can you leave them in the comments below your girl needs help um but yeah so if my dog steps on my foot in this gray it's not going to be as bad so I got these new shoes for running on the treadmill haven't tried them on yet hopefully they fit bye I always buy my emergency you know like the vitamin c powder on amazon because it's a great price now i used to buy the emergent z and take that before bed but it looks like they stopped making it also if you guys know anything about it like if you can find out where i can buy emergent z now can you comment down below or let me know message me on instagram something because i love that product and i can't find it anywhere and honestly the best pricing was it used to be ten dollars for two huge things of it on amazon and now it's gone so in the interim i actually started taking this it's pure z's for the makers of zequil it's nightly sleep melatonin chamomile lavender helps you fall asleep naturally and drug free this works honestly i get great sleep on this i will say there's one thing about this it's kind of gross i feel like i've told you like a lot of like dirty little secrets this smells horrible like i don't know why i'm gonna i don't know why it smells so bad it made me think that maybe it's rancid or something but says February 2022, but I take this every night um, and it definitely helps me sleep. If you can't tell, I'm a highly caffeinated person, um, so I need things to sleep. Okay, this I actually got at the recommendation of another YouTuber, Brandy Jackson. If you guys don't watch her and you like home decor, she's a must follow. She's absolutely amazing. She talked about this Mio Energy Black Cherry. It's like a dupe, like an internet dupe for um, Dr. Pepper. If you put it in sparkling water, I tried it. It does taste like Dr. Pepper. Do I really want Dr. Pepper? I'm like, no, I don't. I don't drink soda. I do drink sparkling water all day. Um, I don't know why I decided to buy it, but it has caffeine in it, and I like caffeine. Honestly, it's three o'clock. I think I'll probably have one of these because your girl needs energy. So. Um, I don't know if I recommend it. If like Dr. Piper tastes kind of gross. I like, I don't know. I don't, I taste it your own well. It does taste like Dr. Pepper. Okay, two more life hacks and then that is it friends. What should I share with you first? I live and die by this. This is the different acne treatment. It's different gel. You can buy this honestly anywhere they sell over the counter. Um, and this is I want to say it's a retin-A or a retinol uh, adaptalene. It used to be prescription only and it's now over the counter. I found that there's a great price on Amazon. I want to say it's like 11 bucks for this. This will last a couple months. I love it. Live and die by it. 
I think I've shared with you guys before, I have struggled with acne and skin my whole life. Adulthood has not made it better. Nothing has made it better. The struggle is real, y'all. I mean, I guess don't leave comments below because they won't work for me. Sorry. But I do love Differin. I will recommend that product greatly. I think that it does make a big difference with my skin. Last thing, this is like a huge like life hack. If you guys don't know about activated charcoal, activated charcoal is like, first of all, it can be used for a million things and I have it not in pill form as well. I have it just in a powder form. It's a natural teeth whitener. Um, if your dog gets sick, and like Google activated charcoal, it's like honestly unbelievable. I showed you guys, if you guys watched and I'll link here if you didn't, my home staging video, the activated charcoal bags take out home odor. So charcoal I your girl's not a scientist okay so let me preface by saying that but charcoal absorbs everything like toxins that kind of thing so if you have a stomach ache this is going to neutralize your stomach honestly this is a godsend and I'm doing you a huge favor by telling you about this now did you tune in today to hear about your stomach troubles nah but you're going to walk away with a little more knowledge about what to do. Now, everybody needs activated charcoal. Everyone in my life that I've put on this, it's like a game changer. My whole family takes it, lives and dies by it. Uh, you know, my boy is a uh, pharmacist and he recommends this as well. So, and like an actual, like he's like a doctor, like a pharmacist, you know. You guys know what a pharmacist is. Um, this is the move. I don't know if you guys, I don't know why I'm going to get into this, but I use, I grew up taking Zantac, which is a ranitidine, which has now been taken off the market because it's been proven to have a carcinogen in it. So if you guys, you know, need something for Tums or whatever, this is all natural. It's just the vibe. Try it. Honestly, life-changing. Okay. I think that that is everything I got. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I hope you, I taught you or showed you something that was like inspiring to you. I know I got a lot of stuff sort of all over the place on Amazon this month, but I mean, that's what Amazon is, right? You can get, you can get tampons and you can get a mattress. You can get everything there. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like. It does a lot for my channel. Comment down below. Answer any of those questions I ask because honestly, I need help. And uh, subscribe to this channel if you have enjoyed this video. I produce all sorts of content about DIY, home decor, design, shopping, shop with me, all those types of things. And lastly, I would love it if you guys would come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is at barely keeping it together. And I will talk with you later. Bye.